Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Mo Sarji in this video. The Real Friday, The 13, Ghost Town, and It's Haunted. I'm going to react to it. It was uploaded the other day, and I didn't get a chance to react to it yet, so I'm going to react to it now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize, and I will take care of it. Take care of them. Now let's get to this video. About five years ago, I came to this abandoned ghost town out here in the middle of nowhere. I fell in love with this place. It was one of the most amazing ghost towns that I've ever been to. It reminded me of Friday the 13th, the video game. After exploring that ghost town, a lot of you guys pointed out something in my video of a female ghost that I caught in one of the theater change rooms that I didn't see in person. It was only caught on camera. Because of popular demand, today I have finally returned to this place. driven very, very far just to get up here to Pennsylvania, into the woods, to go and explore this big abandoned ghost town. I don't know what to expect from this place. I'm really hoping I can catch whatever female ghost it was that I caught in the video. This was one of my first and craziest paranormal evidence when I came to abandoned exploring. I think it was about five years ago. I'm giving you guys a real treat to- Sorry everybody, I had to crack my neck. Sorry about that. Hey, smash the like button. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment something positive. I'm going to be hearting a lot of comments and let's get on with this video. <laughs> video but i need to let you guys know that the new little little ghost hunter merch is now on sale from now till next sunday only i'm giving you guys a discount so use the code that you're seeing right here and click the link in my description to go to the ghost hunter merch store and get yourself a very own merch at a discounted rate november 21 that's the code make sure you type it in all caps during checkout so you can get a discount only for you guys and only because i love you guys so much and only because you guys have been supporting the merch store so much that i wanted to give you guys a discount so go right now the link is down below it's going to be pinned to the top of the comment section as well and don't forget to send me photos of you wearing the merch so i can post them in the videos on the vlog channel which is my second channel if you didn't know about it the link for that channel is going to be down below as well enjoy this video as the adventure begins making my way through this forest to get to this place it's a bit tricky to get inside of here you don't want to get spotted by state troopers or security or anything like that but a really creepy place is so overgrown all right guys you guys can see i am approaching one of the resort homes that they had here, all scattered around in the forest. And these are mainly why we called this place back in the day, Friday the 14th Ghost Town, because everything played out like in the actual video game. If you actually played it, there's a lake down below, and we have the buildings around, and houses. You guys will see soon once I make my way down there. Now, there's something kind of startling me about this. I'm hearing lawnmowers. It sounds like someone's cutting grass down there. And this place is completely abandoned rotting away, just no reason why anyone should be here. As you guys can see, there's all these buildings, cottages scattered around the forest here. Yeah, these were here because this place used to be a resort. As I told you, people will come here on vacation in the summertime. And there is a big building too. There's also a theater somewhere down below. And I also found these really creepy tunnels when I was here long ago. Check this out though, guys. Look at what I saw here. Never seen orange mushrooms before in my life. These are crazy. The last time I was here in this like ghost town, if you want to call it that, I never went into any of the houses. Um, let's go and try to one out where you can see if there's anything worth filming in there. There could be some. Oh yeah, there's a. I don't need to go outside and look at this, guys. There's some beds in there. It's creepy. These are big cottages too. Look at this. Beds are left behind. And then over here just has everything. I mean, it's got the beds on it. There's always rare to find things left behind. Oh, there's a lot of things that are so high. Look at this. Yeah, I had a nice kick over the top. 
the fact that all this is here is just rotting away is really cool. Honestly, this nothing's gonna be restored. Everything's just moldy, rotten, falling apart. Surprised there's no bears living in here. Look at this. It looks like a fire happened in this one here. Oh, that's so cool. and beds and cupboards so there are like maybe 20 or 30 of these little houses here i'm not going to go into all actually it's probably going to be the last one i'm going to go into but i just want to show you guys how these cottages were back in the old days and uh, when you rent the cottage here i mean you had nicer grounds at the time right now everything's not kept up anymore as you guys can see it's always just falling apart running away and uh, there's a, a big beautiful lake over there which i'll show you guys later on once they move on throughout this video. I absolutely love how all the houses and buildings are scattered around, like in the game. Now there used to be a, a, a payphone here, like a red booth, just like in the- Let me take care of it. Sorry about that, everybody. Actual game on oh, Friday the 13th. Oh my God, look at that. You see that tower up there, guys? I'm counting like three or four different eagles up there. And some big turkey vultures. Holy shit. There's like big ones. I know you can't see with the camera, but they're up there. So crazy. Now, there used to be a big payphone. And if you've ever played Friday the 13th, the game, there was a payphone that you had to get to to call for help. I can't seem to find that payphone anywhere. But uh, I did find the big building. This building is where there were restaurants, places for people to hang out when this resort was active. Could be in this, if I remember. Keep my guys, it's been years since I've been here. Not, definitely not in here. I'm really sketched out being here alone. Um, I keep feeling like I'm seeing someone, but it's just deer is running through, but it's kind of freaking me out. Going solo on this one. Angelo is here, he's just somewhere else. So what if I just want to split off and be on my own for this video? Uh, we'll probably link up at the end though. Super strange thing to find over here. Look at this. There's all these like spoons and stuff. <laughs> no clue why they're all outside. Oh, outside. What is that? I don't know what the hell that was. I seen something big just run out of here. Is it a bear? Hopefully it's not a bear. Could be a bear. They were massive though. They just bolted out of the cages. They went down the other way. I can't believe I'm actively going to see what the hell it was that I, I seen running out of here. <sighs> These are all areas that I've never filmed in the past. I do want to see what all this is though. Does this not give you apocalyptic abandoned vibes? This is kind of why I want to go off on too. I wanted to bring th back that feeling. When you guys used to watch my videos in the past, it was mostly me just going off alone. Uh, scary though, but I don't know what it was. So I think it, they were just deer. They're, they're probably just deer. I mean, there's tons of deers around here. Almost everywhere you go, you find deers. Check it out though. One of the houses, just like in the game, Friday the 13th, just scattered along the forest here. Check it out, there's tons of golf balls in here. This was probably the building you would come to get your mini putting sticks. Yep, look at that. Really cool. A lot of golf balls left behind. Check this old swing set out, you guys. And really old slide. Really long slide too. So there are tons more of these cottages labeled A, B, two, three, four, different letters, different names on them. Um, a lot of them look destroyed. And honestly, I'm not gonna go into them because they are destroyed. If I do find one that's kind of good to explore and look at, I'll go in 100%. Come on, man. If you played, like, you guys have to have played Friday the 13th. Like, look at that. K, the Lodge. These were just like the actual video game. I do believe that they based that game off this resort over here. And look at that. There's an eagle right up there. Yep, that's an eagle right there. Holy moly. 
Wow. So big. Alright, I think I'm just gonna check out K over here. This one's been calling out to me. I seen it from far away. It looks like it's in decent condition. Hopefully there's no animals hiding out in here. There probably will be. Oh my god, look at this guys. Whoa. Wow, someone's been living here or was living here. Look at this. The bed is still here. Some cans. It looks much bigger from the outside, but I think it's because there might be a second room. Probably over here. Yeah. Yep, look at that. So I just found a bunch of other houses that look different. Probably bigger cottages. I've never explored these ones. I might save this till the end, but I do want to make my way into a big building and see how it's changed. Yeah. Years ago, exploring with Josh and John and I, we went into this house here. We explored it. It was really creepy. Plus some paranormal vibes for sure, but look at it, guys. Look at it from this angle. It looks like the Hulk went through this damn house. Made it to the building over here. Now this was one of the main resort buildings. There's like three big buildings on the property. There's one all the way down there that I've never explored. But uh, as you guys can see, this is completely destroyed. Damn. Oh, look at that. Door's wide open over there. One of the best feelings, in my opinion, on this planet is just being alone in these places. Take a look at this. I'm all by myself. I'm scared of because I don't know who's going to pop up with what shotgun. And I uh, don't know what animals are going to come at you. It's a thrill, and I love it. Looks like I won't be needing the door for this one, guys. Alright, so, damn, I remember this place. So cool. This was the main entrance area where you check in to the resorts. It's definitely more trash than what I remember. I don't remember that wall being missing. It, there used to be a big glass wall, and as you can see, it's all the way on the ground. It wasn't destroyed. Yeah. This place had a lot of mold in it, and it had grass growing in the actual restaurant. Look at this, though. So spooky. For some reason, this is one of the few places that really excites me. A lot of these abandoned spots are kind of the same nowadays. Everyone's doing the same thing, and they get kind of stale and boring when you go to them. But I've been wanting to come back here for years now. And finally, after like five years, I get to come back. This was the bar area over here, as you guys can see. I really only wanted to come back here because of the theater, the opera theater. Hit class. The opera theater is all the way down there, overlooking the water, the lake, and I wanted to come back to that because that's where I caught that female figure in the change room, which I actually did not see during the editing and during filming. And a lot of you guys pointed her out. Look at all this, man. I don't know if it's my eyes playing tricks on me, but I thought I'd seen a, like a, a black figure just run past that way. It's crazy to see that the restaurant is still in here. Oh my God. Look at this. The grass is still growing in here. Actual grass growing in the actual restaurant um. of the hotel. Notification. Sorry about that. That is wild. I don't want to walk on it because it's all wet and mushy and I don't want to get my shoes and socks wet. We do have a long drive back to our Airbnb in New York. And uh, I don't want to stink up the car. If you're a nature lover like I am, you'd appreciate this. This complete silence. I feel like I'm at home. I can easily just put up a tent over here and just camp out and be unbothered until it turns nighttime and then Jason comes and kills me with a chainsaw. I don't want that. So when I came here five years ago, none of this was destroyed. I mean, it was moldy and stuff, but the, the big glass wasn't broken, man. See, this is why places get torn down and shut down and they're enforced heavily by the law because assholes come through here and they break everything. Love how the couches are still here intact. This building actually housed like the more expensive rooms and the upper scale rooms and they'd overlook the lake view down there. Let's go upstairs and see what we can see up here. Terrified, not gonna lie. This being alone is scary, but it's a good feeling. Damn, they destroyed the shit out of this balcony. Now, I wish I had a drone to get an aerial view for you guys. 
the one stuck on the cross. Look at that view. That is gorgeous. Wowie. So I was wrong, there's no bedrooms up on this side. It's just a lounge area. I get to get a coffee, have some food, eat something. This is a good example of nature taking back what belongs to it. A tree growing in the middle of the staircase, like an actual spruce tree. And then you have a, uh, I think it's a white birch tree or an apple, I don't know, but the tree is growing in the staircase. Actually, that grew through a wall through the staircase. All right, it's time to walk through this really thick grass over here to the opera building. The house is over there, and there's a really big building in the background. I don't know what that building's about. I think it's a government building, so... Hold on, everyone. Notification. Sorry about that, everybody. If you ever come here, stay clear of that building. This is it. The opera building. Massive building. Super scary. This is where you guys found a female ghost figure in my video. And fanned me like crazy. Got a million views on that video. Um, let's share this video everywhere. I would appreciate it. Look at this, guys. Super, super big. I think I'm going to go through the front entrance over here. The opera theater now. Let's see if we can find the Phantom of the Opera. I don't even remember how to get there. It's been so long. Look at this grass growing in here. Thick grass, too. This is one of those places where it'll be impossible to restore mm. and bring back to life. Holy moly. Yeah. It's so dark in here. Yeah, it is. All right, chances are Angel's in here and he's going to try and scare us. Wow. Look at all this, guys. If I remember correctly, and I really don't, to be honest, the change rooms were somewhere back there. Hold on, everyone. Let me sit up. So I can do this better. Sorry about that, everybody. It's kind of scary walking through here alone. Yeah. Whew. All right. I'm walking. So much things falling off the ceiling. Look, the ceiling's kind of collapsed on itself. Man, that's why you got to be careful in places like this. You don't want this shit falling on your head. You're, you're right. He's right. Let's go. Look at this view, guys. Whoa. So creepy. Let me know in the comments below. Would you come in here by yourself? Would you require payment? How much money would it take for you to come in here alone? Especially at nighttime, like this place is probably even more terrifying at night. So this is the area where you guys spotted the ghost girl. I think it's through that hallway, if I remember correctly. Look at this. Um, hopefully these floors can support my weight. Wow, this is unbelievable! Holy moly! Someone's here. Talking to myself a little bit. Sorry about that, everybody. Sorry about that, everybody. I didn't mean for that to happen. Sorry about that. So, my only dilemma is, is I gotta figure out how to get to the other side. The floor is really collapsed. Yeah, it is. I'm hearing noises, too, in here. I called out to Angela, but he's not replying. the beans maybe uh, maybe there's a better way maybe I can go through here there you go there's always a way guys I don't think there's a way is there oh well, maybe there's a door in here Now we just have to get all the way there. Oh, that was very tense. Very, very tense. 
Very stressful too. Okay. Now, which way do I go? Oh, man, I don't remember which way it was. It might actually be through that hallway right here. Oh yeah, this is the hallway. This is where you guys caught the female ghost on camera, right in here. Had an itch right here. Had a few itchy spots. Sorry about that, everybody. And this is the room. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Ooh, I just got a weird cold gust of wind in here. I'm pretty sure it's the go right here. So a lot of you guys in the video said that the female ghost that you've seen, some people said it was a pipe, but fact there's no pipe in the room. Unless I'm in the wrong room, I'm check out the other room first. But from what it looked like in the video, she was standing here. Terrifying. We're gonna communicate with a female ghost that I encountered here five years ago. Wanna talk to me? Talk to me or communicate to me through this device. If you stand in front of it or touch it, you're going to make it go off. My heart is beating so hard right now. It doesn't even understand. I'll leave it right here. Maybe we'll get something. Spirit? Communicate with me on the device. Not gonna lie, this is like the scariest thing I've done in a long time. Still waiting. I've been sitting here for, I guess, 15 minutes. If you're here, talk to me. Make something move. Alright, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below. Have you spotted anything throughout this video, throughout these creepy hallways? I can't see anything. Definitely not getting anything. I am on edge though. I sent out a text, but it didn't go through because there's no Wi-Fi. These are the men's rooms over here. Looks like there was a bedroom here at one point. Yeah. Sorry about that, everybody. I had to crack my neck again, my apologies, sorry. change room that I went into first was the one that I was looking for. So it's funny because this is actually the female's change room and the other... Had to try to crack and 
fix my neck again. Sorry about that, everybody. One with the nails because it was the blue one. And this one's pink. Yeah, in my video, we captured a female ghost in the nails room. Very strange. The second I walked in here, my ears feel like a strange pressure. I'm actually getting scared right now. Jesus, God, look at this. There's the lake view right there. As you guys can see. Now, I, I don't know. Oh my God, is that a black widow? Hell no. I literally touched the black widow web. That was a black widow. I literally touched it wet without knowing. That could have stung me and I would be dead within 10 minutes. I just came back outside. <sighs> I scared the shit out of myself in there. I don't know what went. I don't know what that was, but there was something in there. And uh, I don't want to be in there alone. I have no clue where Angelo is. Mm -hmm. But here's what I am going to do. I'm going to go ahead and end off this video and do a part two. We're going to do a proper investigation inside of that area where we captured the female ghost figure. If you guys captured anything on this episode, smash the like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'm, I'm seeing other houses here, other abandoned buildings and houses that I've never explored before. So part two is going to have some more goodies in it for you guys. Love you guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Be you, do you stay positive, and just live a little. Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will react to the up to the next part of his video. It's part two of his video. If you're all new to my channel or Mo Sarge's channel, make sure you guys subscribe and give both our videos a thumbs up. Uh, excuse me, sorry. I burped. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post and share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. And on my channel, we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. And please don't forget to take a look at my channel's playlist and give give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. Please, everybody, please, please, everybody, please. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.